Hello friends, this is the question of 2018, October, November, paper 11, and the question number is 36. So it says that a battery with uh, internal resistance, so as we know that when a battery is enclosed by the dotted line and when it has a resistor nearby, within that uh, dotted uh, area, then uh, the battery has got total inter has got internal resistance. So it is connected to a parallel arrangement of two resistors and a switch S as shown. Initially, switch S is open, so it means that uh, the current flows through here, flows through this thing, uh, which means that only uh, this resistor is active. So what happens to the voltmeter and ammeter readings when switch S is closed? So it means, uh, it, it asks us that if I switch this, I close this switch, what happens to the voltmeter reading and the emitter reading? One thing that uh, we have to remember is, this voltmeter is actually measuring the terminal potential difference. It is connected across the terminals of the cell, which means it is measuring the PD across this point, or I can say this point, this point, or I can say this point. Everything is same, because we cannot exactly measure the uh, PD inside the cell. Though it might look like that, it doesn't measure the PD inside the cell. So, it measures the PD outside the cell, which is the terminal potential difference. So now, when we close this switch, if I close this switch, the current will flow here also. That means we have connected this resistor in parallel to this. It means that the resistance from here to here, which I say, uh, let me say, R uh, total, this R total decreases. So once it is closed, this R total, R total decreases. R total decreases. So this means that, uh, let me say, uh, let me give some uh, degree. So if this decreases, then the whole resistance of the resistance of the whole circuit. So R of the whole circuit also decreases. It means the current will be equal to EMF by R through the whole circuit. So this thing should, this thing should increase. So the current should increase, which means the emitter reading should be increased. So that means if I go to the choices, I have this and this qualify, but these two, these two, these two disqualify. Because they said that the emitter reading decreases, decreases. So what must happen is the emitter reading should increase. So increase. Now, <coughs> If the resistance here, overall resistance decreases, it means that the PD here should PD here should also decrease because uh, uh, according to the voltage divider formula or even simply uh, the, the, the formula for the uh, terminal PD, so V terminal should be equal to, uh, should be equal to, uh, should be equal to, uh, if I use the voltage divider formula, so it is R total, R total by R total, R total plus, 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 plus this uh, inner resistance, which is small r. So what we have, uh, we have now is, R total has decreased. So since R total decreases into this E, since this decreases, this also should decrease, but uh, this decrease is more rapid. This decrease will be more rapid, because here we have one factor R also, which is constant. Here it's only R total, so this will be getting more smaller than this so which means that this v should v should v should v should v should this should decrease this should all to overall it should decrease it's because r total decreases this is whole r total so this decrease this will decrease more than this because here r total decreases but this is this is constant so the decrease here is less rapid and this decrease here is more rapid so that's why Overall, this should decrease, and if so, this V will be decreasing. So, 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 the answer choice will be this is wrong, and the correct answer choice is choice number A.